Welcome back to the Crypto World channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and today Bitcoin reached above 60,000 US dollars on some exchanges. This video is an important one to watch because we're getting very close to Bitcoin's all time high. So we need to be looking at the next Bitcoin price targets and also some important levels of support in case we do see a bit more of a rejection. And also later in the video, I'll be going over some important Bitcoin fundamental charts. So definitely stick around for that. And I'll also be giving you guys another update on the Bitcoin fear and greed index. So definitely make sure you're watching this video all the way to the end so that you're not missing out on any of this valuable information and just before we jump into it make sure to drop a like on the video down below and if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day but anyway with all of that out of the way let's get straight to what this video is about so right here we're on the bitcoin US dollar chart on the four hour time frame and first of all taking a look at the highest point we reached today and that was just above sixty thousand US dollars in fact we hit exactly sixty thousand to eighty two dollars and fifty cents on the Bybit exchange. Some exchanges, it was a little bit different. Like for example, Coinbase, it was about a dollar short of 60,000. But either way, over the past 24 hours, it has definitely been a good day for Bitcoin. Because now that Bitcoin is pretty much hanging around 60,000 US dollars, at the time filming this video, we're just below 60K. But now that we're up at these prices, the all time high for Bitcoin is honestly not too far away. And now, before talking about the all time high, it's important to now talk about some areas of support. And this is one of them because obviously this range was previous resistance right here. And by the way, for the new viewers on the channel, this is coming in between 57,000 and 58,000 US dollars. And the subscribers would already know about this because I've been talking about it pretty much over the past one week. And now that Bitcoin is above this range of resistance, this is amazing to see. But right now we have found a little bit of resistance at pretty much exactly 60,000 US dollars. And I mentioned over the past couple of days on the channel that around 60,000 US dollars, just because it's a round number that acts as psychological resistance because a lot of people like to place orders, for example, sell orders at round numbers like 60,000. And that's really the reason behind why 60,000 has been a little bit of resistance just in the immediate short term. But honestly, I don't expect that resistance to hold very long. The 57 to $58,000 price range was actually bigger resistance than the $60,000 level. Just because of the confluence that was coming in back there, we had the 78.6% Fibonacci level. And also on the VP VR indicator, that was a huge cluster of traded volume. So for as long as Bitcoin can remain above this range just here, obviously that's very bullish for Bitcoin. And I would expect potentially the all-time high coming into play pretty soon. And so let's talk about that. Let's talk about the all time high and the next price targets now for Bitcoin to the upside. And right now, once again, for as long as we can hold above that 57 to $58,000 area, I'll be targeting this range just here. This is coming in between around 63,000 and 65,000 US dollars. And the reason behind that is the $63,000 level is the price target out of this huge bull flag that we were forming throughout the entire month of September. And so if we simply reach 63,000, that's pretty much that bull flag completed. And then at 65, 5,000, that is the all time high. So, what normally happens is we find a bit of resistance along the all time high before we see any sort of breakout. Obviously, that doesn't have to happen. That's just simply what we've seen in the past. Going back to the last time we saw an all time high breakout, that was right back here at the end of 2020. We broke above the previous $20,000 all time high for Bitcoin, which we set in the last Bitcoin bull cycle back in 2017. And then, once again, towards the end of 2020, that was the first time since 2017 that we made it up towards $20,000 US dollars. And we found a lot of resistance at that exact level just there at the all time high level. And so we actually saw a small rejection here. And keep in mind, this is on the daily time frame. So that actually lasted one to two weeks before we started recovering. And then the moment we broke the all time high, the moment we broke above 20,000 US dollars back at the end of 2020, the Bitcoin price absolutely exploded to the upside. It entered price discovery mode, meaning that we've never been at those prices before at that stage. And after then, you can see exactly what happens to the Bitcoin price. And so going back to the present day, we're about to approach the all-time high. And so we could find a little bit of resistance there. It could lead into maybe a small pullback. But considering the fact that we are in a higher low, higher high structure on the four-hour chart, on the daily chart, and even on the weekly chart, because we've now had a weekly candle close above this previous weekly high. And obviously the low that we set at the end of September was a lot higher than the low that we set at the end of July. So it isn't just my opinion that we're in an uptrend. We actually are in an uptrend looking at higher lows and higher highs. And what we can see here is this month's candle is getting very close to the highest monthly candle close that we've ever seen in the history of Bitcoin. So far, the highest monthly candle close was back in March and we closed that month at around 58,800 US dollars. So if we simply end this month at above 58.8K, then at that stage, we'll be having the highest monthly candle close in the history of Bitcoin. And that sort of thing only happens in bull markets. Obviously, you never see an all-time high monthly candle close in a bear market. Now, we still have about 16 and a half days to 
go before this monthly candle closes and we start the next one. So obviously a lot can happen over the next 16 days. But with that being said, we are definitely at least on track to have the highest monthly candle close in the history of Bitcoin. And just taking a quick look at the last time Bitcoin did that, that was back in November 2020 when we broke above the 2017 monthly candle close, which at that stage was at approximately 13.9 thousand US dollars. And in November 2020, we closed that month at 19,700 US dollars. And so what actually happened after we did that? Well, as you can see here, we had four consecutive green months that came next. And measuring out the price gain that Bitcoin had over the next four months, that was pretty much exactly a 200% gain in just the next four months. And so just for fun, let's take a look at a 200% gain from where we are right now. Don't take this prediction to be an exact prediction or anything. This is just speculation, but that would put the Bitcoin price up towards 178 thousand US dollars. Let me know what you think about that price target. Do you think it's too bullish? Do you think it's not bullish enough? I want to hear what you think in the comment section down below, but just remember, take that with a grain of salt because it's just a bit of speculation. And just quickly reminding you of another Bitcoin price target that's really not speculation. That's of course the technical price target out of this cup and handle pattern, and that's coming in at around 79,000 US dollars. So those are possibly the first few things that we could target after we break above the all-time high. But remember, before we can look at those much higher price targets, we still have this range between 63 to 65,000 US dollars acting as really one of the last major resistance points before a new all-time high. And now taking a look at some fundamental analysis for Bitcoin. This is the Bitcoin all exchanges stablecoin ratio. So first of all, the gray line here is the Bitcoin price on the daily time frame, And the purple line here is the total amount of Bitcoin reserves on exchanges divided by the stablecoin reserves on exchanges. So when this purple line is heading to the downside, that means there's less Bitcoin on exchanges compared to stable coins on exchanges. But as this purple line is increasing, that means there's more Bitcoin getting put onto exchanges than there is stable coins on exchanges. So this can sometimes act as a leading indicator for what the Bitcoin price is about to do. For example, back here, this purple line was heading to the downside before we actually saw that crash during May. So this was a leading indicator that was telling us that we were due for a crash before the crash actually happened. And then when this ratio stopped heading to the downside and actually started turning around during June and July, that is how you know that we were getting ready to bottom out and getting ready for another move to the upside and just hiding my face cam so you can see what's currently happening. As you can see, this is trending upwards. And why is this actually trending upwards? Well, it's because of these two charts just here. Getting into the first one, this is the total amount of Bitcoin that is sitting in exchange wallets. And that's what this purple line is just here. And what you can see is right now we're at a very low level, the lowest level that we've seen in years. But since the middle of September, the amount of Bitcoin in exchange reserves hasn't really budged. As you can see, we've pretty much just gone sideways here since the middle of September, but looking at the stablecoin reserves on exchanges right now, this is declining a little bit. So this just means that more people are moving stablecoins off exchanges currently just in the shorter term. And so that's why we're seeing an increase in this ratio just here. But usually when this number increases, it means there's an increase in selling pressure because once again, this ratio is Bitcoin reserves divided by stablecoin reserves. So when this ratio is increasing to the upside, you're either increasing the numerator or decreasing the denominator or both. And the numerator is the supply of Bitcoin on exchanges. So usually this means that more Bitcoin is getting deposited onto exchanges. But in this case, it's not. In this case, it's because the denominator, the stable coins on exchanges is decreasing. But with that being said, there's still currently around 17 billion US dollars worth of stable coins sitting on exchange wallets ready to buy Bitcoin at any moment. And so at this stage, it's only a short term pullback in the stable coins on exchanges. But you can clearly see in the Bitcoin reserves that we've been pulling back for quite some time. So we're actually looking really bullish because obviously the less Bitcoin on exchanges means the thinner the sell orders get and the harder it becomes to buy into Bitcoin because there's less circulating supply to go around. So fundamentally speaking, we are looking pretty bullish here moving forward. And the stablecoin supply ratio is nowhere near the levels where we were topping out previously in the chart. So we've definitely got a long way to go for this leg to the upside. And looking at the Bitcoin fear and greed index right now is sitting in greed, which means we still have room to the upside in the imminent short term. Basically, the further into extreme greed we go, the more potential risk we have in our hands for some bearish price action. But right now, we're just in the greed, not extreme greed. So that's good to see. But considering the strength of this push to the upside and the fact that we've got a lot of fundamentals for Bitcoin showing that we actually have a long way to go, even if we see extreme greed, like what we saw around a week ago, I would not expect a whole lot of bearish price action. What we saw the last time around was literally just sideways price action for a few days before continued upwards price action. And by the way, if you want to know about this information, 
information hours before these videos in these real time updates throughout the day and also these extra alerts the moment we hit 60,000 for example definitely make sure you're following me over on my Twitter and the link to my official Twitter is in the description down below and if you enjoy this video or got something valuable from it make sure to leave a like down below and if you're new to the channel you might as well subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this one every single day and seriously make sure you're sharing these videos around with your friends and family considering the amazing opportunity that we are about to see because I'm telling you now if we can get above the all-time high that's when things get crazy and at that stage you would have already wanted to get in at these lower prices obviously that's not financial advice that's just telling you what's previously happened for Bitcoin and before you click off the video make sure you're checking out one of these uploads just here if you missed those because if you're serious about making money in crypto whether it's trading or making passive income these are the videos to watch either way but anyway that's really everything to say for this video I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video